Hey everybody, Matt Ball here. Today I'm in my garage getting ready to install the transducer on my brand new Jackson Cusa FD. Just picked this thing up from West Virginia Outdoors in Poco, West Virginia uh, last week. And I've been really excited about getting this thing out on the water and today I'm getting it ready to do that. I've got a brand new Elite 9 Ti that I'm going to run on this thing this year. And I'm going to show you how I mount my transducers to my Jackson boats into the uh, recessed transducer scupper hole. It's really easy, it's cheap, and you can probably find the stuff laying around your garage to do it. All you need to do it, you need a piece of two inch PVC pipe, about one inch diameter. That is a piece of Schedule 80 electrical conduit is what that is. And you're just gonna cut it about two inches short Different boats have a little different. You just need it long enough to just barely come up through your scupper hole. And then you're going to notch that thing out. See how I've got it notched right there? I just used a, a drill bit and a circular or a, uh, a file and made a notch. And that notch just allows your transducer to slide up in there. You'll run your cables up through the middle of that pipe. And you're also going to need a piece of bungee cord. It's just a length of bungee. You're going to run that through the bottom and that's what's going to kind of pull up on that thing and hold it into the bottom of your boat. The other thing you need is an old cutting board or some starboard. This is one that I've been using. made a couple of it out now. So uh, That's just some plastic cutting board you can buy and you're going to cut a disc about like that. That's a two and a half inch disc and what you need to do with that disc is you need to cut a notch big enough for your transducer cable to, to fit right in there, okay? What you want it to do, when it's all said and done, this is what you've got. You've got your transducer coming up through the hole. You're going to run that through the center hole. And then on this side, and I'm going to put it in the boat and I'll show you how this all works. But your other two cables and the bungee fit through that other one. And then you're just going to tie this off. And that's basically how it all works right there. You've got your transducer pulled up with the bungees down in your hole. So aim this thing down here and I'm going to show you how it works. So basically, run your transducer line up through. grab a hold of the two bungee cords. Right here is the two bungees that, that we just put on there. And then here's the disc. So all you've got to do, the pilot hole that was drilled with that hole saw is in the middle. See that right there? Put one piece of the bungee through that. Run it down. Position your cable away from your pedals and in that second notch and then seat that piece of plastic right down in there and then all you got to do pull up on that bungee and tie it give it a good knot so right there you got your transducer cable coming up through i'm going to just route that over and i'm going to punch it up through the boat right here and run it up and put all this you get a ton of excess cable with these things. They're designed, designed for bass boats, but us kayak guys have to deal with all this extra cable, so I usually like to run it into the, the boat and get rid of a lot of that excess. So, that's how I've been mounting them. I think it'll work real well. Now once I get this all done and I get my cable mounted where I want, I, I usually run it without drilling any holes for a while. And then I, I use it and then I make sure that that's exactly where I want to put it. And once I do, I'll usually buy some of the, the through-haul connectors and, and run my cables and neat, make it real neat. The other thing that I like to do, I like to use and run my batteries. I just use these, uh, I'm using the Nokwa batteries, these 10 amp hour Nokwa batteries. They're awesome. Um, I'm going to have two of them for this, um, run one, and then if I uh, run out of battery, I'll have another one ready to go. So, and then Jackson came out with this. Let me show you real quick. This is the uh, 
plastic hatch that comes with the Jackson Mayfly right over there. See that? This hatch fits really well in this boat. And that's what I've been using for my CUDA HD and uh, for this. I'm going to use that to store my batteries. you got them laying up there and you can just run your cable right through here. Hook them into the back of your boat, your uh, Lowrance. Real quick, easy, and uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So, anyway, that's how I been installing my transducers for a while now. I think it works real well. Um, eventually, I'm going to try to run a total scan transducer on this boat. Uh, Lowrance has a total scan transducer for this unit that'll give you side scan, down scan, and traditional sonar. Uh, I don't have that one, uh, but eventually I'm going to, but I don't think you can mount them in the, in the scupper mount like that. So. I kind of want something that's always there, always ready, and I can just throw my trans my uh, fish finder on and go, because I've not used the side scan a lot. I think I would like to, but uh, for now, I'm not going to mess with it. So anyway, y'all take care. God bless, and I'll see you out on the water. And if you got any questions, uh, shoot me a message on uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Matt Trisha Ball, and I'll be glad to, to give you any assistance you can. So. Hopefully I'll get this thing out in the water and uh, give you a little bit of a, a review on uh, how she handles. So y'all take care. God bless.